What is up guys, all my text here. Today I am back with another video and this video is about how to mod in Minecraft. Alright, so to begin modding, you're gonna need only three apps, which is Minecraft, Blown Launcher, and Quick Edit. You're not gonna need Minecraft, you just need Minecraft to for the Blood Launcher to be able to open Minecraft. So Blood Launcher basically launches Minecraft and Quick Edit is for making the mod itself and Blood Launcher is for uh, importing the mod and playing the mod. And also you're gonna need Android device because if you're on iOS device then you cannot use Blood Launcher. First step, you have to know the language called JavaScript. It is not Java, JavaScript. So we're gonna go on YouTube, JavaScript, the new Boston. So this guy makes a really good tutorial, the new Boston, and it's gonna uh, pop up this tutorial. Beginner JavaScript tutorial. So JavaScript is usually, I mean, uh, it is intended to be used for web browser, but um, for some reason, the blog launcher uses JavaScript. So you gotta learn JavaScript if you wanna make mods. So once you're done learning JavaScript, then come back to this video. So yeah, goodbye. So I'm assuming that you guys finished the tutorial. If so, then congratulations. So these are the functions that you can use. Let me just show you guys an example. So this is a function as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and go here, syntax, JavaScript, and paste it here. <clears throat> so as you see, this is a function because it says function use item. That's pretty clear to you guys. So blog launcher calls the function use item with these uh, arguments uh, whenever the player touches any blocks with any items. So let's just say that you want to print something, client message. So this is the method that allows you to print. So if you do this, then what's going to happen in Blood Launcher is it's going to call the use item function with the XYZ item ID, block ID side, item damage and block damage uh, function. And it's going to see the client message in this function. And this client message method is going to call the client message function hidden somewhere in the Blood Launcher. So that's how the mod works. So these are the, this is the code that you guys can uh, learn from possibly. Motic executes uh, uh, 20 times in one second and so on like this. Uh, and as you guys can see, there's this entity thing. So what is the entity? What is this entity? Hmm? Murderer victim. So these are all the entities. So what, so what this parameter contains is the UUID, also known as the unique user ID. So I'm going to be explaining this more in detail in the later part of this video, but the UID is like a name for every single mob in the Minecraft world and every single name, quote unquote name, also known as UUID is different. So you can, so you can do like where, uh, where A is equals to null and then function, death hook, murder, victim, uh, and then A is equals to the murderer to save the ID of the murderer. And now let's get into the, uh, the text functions. Function print, it prints the message. Function client message, this is like a normal Minecraft message. And there's another one that uh, this documentation kind of forgot, or maybe it's in uh, the other page, but there's a function called modpe.showtip message. And for the argument, you're gonna just put whatever you want to, uh, for the blog launcher to show the message. So yeah, that's another thing that this thing is missing. <clears throat> and these are all the get uh, get methods, and there's gonna be some set methods. So you guys learn JavaScript from the uh, web browser thing. So just an FYI, document dot get element x um, element x <laughs> element uh, by ID. This thing doesn't exist in Minecraft. Uh, if else else if whoops for while switch try catch these things still exist in minecraft like these are uh, basic stuff like for loop works the same uh like for fair i is equals to zero i 
i plus plus. So this is gonna repeat ten times. Then this thing, uh, so this thing basically works the same as in uh, web browser. And there's arrays. So arrays, uh, array that push ar dot push arr dot uh, switch not switch. This is like split splice, and all those kind of stuff works the same in the uh, Minecraft population and also the uh, math math the random like this these all exist in Minecraft so everything exists except for the HTML functions such as document to get element by ID or or like uh, set interval something like that so alright so for the next part of this video we're gonna be learning about the entities so what the heck is entities so a uh, function uh, entity hurt hook is executed whenever an entity hits another entity so including a zombie hitting you and you hitting a zombie so a v h attacker victim and how much damage is done to the victim is h so h is a number a and v are the mob id if you do entity that get entity type ID attacker then it's gonna get the type entity ID of the attacker which is uh, which is gonna show you the IDs of the um, uh, the entity so it's like fix 65 for TNT 66 for falling block uh, 89 for wither skull 36 for zombie pigment 37 for slime so Entity that get type ID is gonna return the the type ID of the mob. All right, so this is a mod that I made again. So entity hard hook AVH, the client message. So it prints the V type ID, the victim's type ID, like this, and then the UU ID, also known as the mob ID. So I saved it, and then I'm gonna go to Bell Launcher and reload it. So let's spawn some mobs. So for example, oh, okay. So these are the entities that got hurt for some reason. So it executes even if some entities hit another entity. Uh, zombie, 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 zombie. So if I hit a zombie, then type ID 32, 32, 32, and 32. But as you see, the UUID is different. Uh, even if I spawn more zombies, the UIDs are always different. And even if it is a different type of mob. The UID is still different. And this time, the type ID is different. Type ID for zombie versus 27. And UID is always, always, always different for every single mob. Just like this. It works like this. So you cannot see any, uh, any same UIDs in this normal. So I'm gonna be making the GUI tutorial and GUI meaning buttons, image views, video views, scroll bars, and so much more. But if this video does well, which automatically means that you guys want more tutorials like this, so that was it for today's video guys, and see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.